What bad news Brown was like to deal with? Bad news, um, tough guy, you know, uh, legitimately a great athlete, bronze medal winner in the uh, uh, 1976 Olympics in Montreal and Pan Am champion in judo. Uh, probably one of the toughest guys in the business. You know, he, he knew judo very well. He knew uh, street fighting very well. Uh, he's just not a guy you messed with in the ring. Um, yeah, he worked for my dad uh, from about 1981 to 87 when he finally went to the WWE. So he's a whole story in himself. Um, you know, uh, again, uh, I, I have a lot of respect for him. He was uh, uh, a great conditioned athlete, very tough in the ring, uh, anywhere, basically. And you just, you didn't take liberties with him. You know, um, he could do a lot of damage with you. Um, you know, he, he was difficult to deal with at times. And I, I, I can't go into a long story with him, but... Uh, um, you know, maybe part of it was his, uh, style in Japan where they did a lot more brawling and fighting outside the ring basically. But, uh, um, when, when he was here at times he could be uncontrollable. Sometimes he'd be, he'd be fighting outside the ring and uh, a little too close to the fans. And then if one of the fans, uh, um, hit him or went after him because he was, uh, using a chair on somebody, you know, or, or, um, you know, mauling one of the baby faces you know outside the ring uh the commission then would 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 uh, suspend him and sometimes it's suspend my dad so sometimes alan was uh he just had a short leash and he he didn't control his his actions enough uh um because he was he was getting into, into altercations with fans and constantly getting suspended and a lot of times he didn't follow orders you know we, we would tell him don't don't be fighting outside the ring keep your distance from fans because you've already been uh targeted or suspended and the commission's basically got a heart on for you and uh sometimes he just didn't listen you know and uh um he kind of did things his way so um you know he he did have some box office when he first came in i remember he had some incredible um street fights and cage matches with uh with brett and uh dynamite especially with dynamite and uh even davy boy but uh, a lot of the other baby faces he just didn't sell for. And, uh, you know, his motto seemed to be, well, you can get color for me, um, but I'm not going to get color for you. And, um, you know, if he's if he's not selling for these guys and taking 80 percent of the match, then uh, it's hard for um, for these guys to get over, you know, no matter what the outcome was. And uh, unfortunately, I think he just took too much from guys that he was working with. He didn't he didn't sell enough for them or want to put guys over. And he was uh, protecting his own his own image, you know, more than doing what was best with the promotion. And uh, so that way, you know, he unfortunately had a lot of heat with uh, different boys and uh, a lot of guys didn't actually feel comfortable working with him. And uh, but, you know, he, he had a reputation, though, as a. Uh, uh, a really tough guy and someone you didn't mess with. And I think that's, that's what helped them uh, get booked in WWE. Um, you know, cause they, they saw him sort of as a badass street fighter from uh, Harlem and uh, a different type of heel. And that's why they brought him in to work with Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan. And uh, um, you know, and he's very good on the interviews, you know, he had an incredible uh, heat, you know, cause he could be very uh, intimidating, um, very powerful. Um, when he did his interviews in Stampede, he didn't have good rapport with Ed Whalen. Ed was quite intimidated by uh, Alan. Um, they didn't have good rapport, and Alan, unfortunately, didn't uh, gel very well with Ed. Um, you know, and, and Ed was the host of the show, and you had to uh, kind of give him that that respect, that leverage. You know, if he wanted to cut the interview off or pull the mic away from you, you had to kind of uh, give him that that leeway you know because he was the the host of stampede wrestling and uh, a pretty iconic figure uh as a, a media broadcaster in the city and, and alan didn't really uh um uh, give that much to ed you know he just thought ed was an announcer who didn't uh respect the wrestlers enough so uh uh there definitely was a lot of friction between them and you know after alan had been suspended numerous times by the commission and, um, you know, the promotion had gotten a lot of bad publicity over uh, what was going on in the ring. Um, Ed, I think, took a lot of that to heart. And he never, ever felt comfortable interviewing Alan or being around him. You know, so um, a lot of pros and cons about Alan. But again, uh, I could do a separate podcast on him uh, completely. But uh, undeniably, uh, very tough guy. 
that you didn't want to mess around with 